when you're locked up in a you know a room that has no real light and you can't see the sky outside and you can't have that fresh air and those are things that everyone takes for granted every single day. For six weeks, Melissa Sheridan sat in a jail cell accused of a crime she didn't commit. So I was confused um, how they could ever think I had something to do with this. In October 2020, Brant Burke, Sheridan's husband from whom she'd been separated, was found dead on a trail in Killarney, Ontario. He'd been shot in the back twice at close range. A month later... She asked me to step out of the vehicle and told me that I was being charged with um, Brant Burke's murder, and it was a first-degree murder charge. She would later learn it was Burke's brother, Kerry, who had implicated her after he confessed to the killing. It actually blew my mind to know that I was arrested for a crime I didn't commit. Kerry Burke claims he and Melissa had been intimate and that she'd offered him cash and the home he and Brant were living in to carry out the murder. I was automatically remanded on suicide watch for 24 hours. No opportunity to phone home, no contact with her young son and daughter. Describe the conditions when you were in jail. There's no sleep, right? The lights are always on. You're never in darkness. You know, it's mouse infested. When Sheridan was finally released on strict bail conditions, her children were not allowed to live with her. They ruined my life. They've ruined my reputation. They've damaged my children. For nearly 20 months, in the eyes of the law and her community, Sheridan was considered an accused killer. When we were finally able to go to a preliminary trial, and after what was supposed to be three days, was a couple hours and then the Crown withdrew the charge. There's never even been an acknowledgement of the mistake, right, the travesty that was done. Sheridan has given notice that she intends to sue the Ontario Provincial Police and the Wikwemekong Tribal Police as the murder took place on First Nation territory. Counsel for Police declined to comment given the matter is before the courts. And it's about trying to recover some compensation for what's been done to her for the last two years for which the police still haven't apologized. Sheridan says her life may never be back to normal. It's very disappointing that this is where our justice system is at and that there's no like repercussions and there's no acknowledgement of the grave mistake that was made. If this happened to her, she says, it can happen to anyone. Karen Lieberman, Global News, Toronto.